Governor Gurley man loses to Governor Macho man. You remember I did an article on Argentina a while back, a video explaining the article, cash starved Argentine provinces turning out their own money, where Governor Roberto Romero of Salta said we're printing our own currency and paying our people with it and it's working fine. And now today we have an article about California goes broke and halts their payments because girly man Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger can't find any money and it never dawned on him that he could do what the Argentine governors did. So, girly man, governor, time to join the macho men, governors of Argentina, and pay your employees with money they can spend. So, rawstory.com, California goes broke, halts $3.5 billion in payments. Stephen C. Webster, Monday, February the 2nd, 2009. California, the eighth largest economy in the world, is broke. People are going to be hurt starting today, said Hallie Jordan, speaking on behalf of the state controller. There's no money. Since state legislators failed to meet an end of January deadline on an agreement to make up for California's $40 billion budget gap by borrowing more, residents won't be getting their state tax rebates, scholarships to Cal grant college will go unpaid, vendors' invoices will remain uncollected, and county social services will cease. So, California's shutting down, committing suicide. Before I go on, talking about girl, the girly man governor's state problems, we're going to talk about what the governor of Salta in Argentina did in the mid-1980s from an article from Nick Knight Ritter Newspapers, uh, November 28th, 1985. Cash-starved Argentine provinces turning out their own money. Yay, macho man governor. And then we got girly man governor in California. Two remote Argentine provinces short of cash to pay public employees have come up with an easy solution. Not Arnold. They're printing their own money to the chagrin of national and international banking authorities. We are paying all our public employees with provincial bonds. Roberto Romero, governor of northern Argentine, Argentina province of Salta, said in a telephone interview, he said Salta started printing its own IOUs because it wasn't getting federal currency fast enough. Macho man, Governor Romero. People can change these bonds for money at any bank, Romero said. They can use them to shop at supermarkets and buy cars or any other products. The Argentine government's not smiling and world bankers are worried that other cash-starved states will copy Salta's financial extravaganza and jeopardize Latin efforts to curb inflation and pay huge foreign debts. That's right, adding money into circulation will cause more money chasing the goods. Shift A, inflation. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, the world's main financial inspector for debt-ridden countries, was concerned enough to bring up the issue in recent talks with the Argentine government, said sources in Argentina and Washington. Remember, in the 30s, they got the governments to ban community currencies so people would starve without being able to help themselves. Still trying. So, the IMF does not comment on negotiations with individual countries. After Salta started quietly issuing its IOUs in September last year, the nearby province of La Roya started printing its own bonds too. Another macho governor! Argentine provinces, four others, have either begun adopting similar programs or are preparing to do so. Hey, macho governors in Argentina, and we got girly man in California. In all cases, the bonds are good only within the province where they're issued. Well, there's no reason why they shouldn't intercept them, right? <clears throat> but the government of President Raul Alfonso sells the provincial bonds, are expanding the country's money supply, and are undermining efforts to remove Argentina from the list of the world inflation leaders. Earlier this year, Argentina had a 1,000% annual inflation rate. Alfonso made headlines worldwide in June when he launched an austerity program built around a commitment to stop his government from printing money. Since then, inflation has do dropped to 3% a month, a record low in recent history. So despite all of that money being dumped into circulation, inflation went from 1,000% all the way up to 36%. Now, I say adding money in circulation will reduce inflation shift B. They say adding money in circulation will aggravate inflation shift A. Well, they added more money into circulation and inflation went down. Of course, they're giving credit to the president's policies, whatever magic policies they were that nobody else knows about.
So, the bonds are printed in Salta common denominations of 10, 100, and 1,000 Australias, the same as ordinary Argentine currency bills. They pay no interest and can be used in exchange for Argentine currency or used to buy goods. Romero of the opposition Peronist Party and officials of the other provinces claim their bonds are not really new currencies because they are no good outside their provinces. Well, you offer them to somebody next door and they're going to take them. So, continuing with Governor Gurleyman's California problems, at least temporarily, services and payments will resume once state legislators come to an agreement on the budget. So, till then, everybody starves. This time, there are real-world consequences, said H.D. Palmer, spokesman for the California Department of Finance, in a report by KCR8 in Sacramento. Because we have not been able to get a budget agreement, payments aren't going to be made. This is an issue of fairness, said Assemblyman Ted Gaines. It hurts hardworking families the most. Refunds, in fact, will stimulate the economy, and taxpayers need their money. Included are $515 million in payments to the state's vendors, $280 million to help people with development disabilities. Other public assistance agencies will be left waiting for hundreds of millions of dollars, reports CNN. Other public assistance agencies will be left waiting for hundreds of millions of dollars. Poor, impotent Arnold! Girly man, Governor! Why can't the governors in Argentina give Girly man a call and explain how they did it? Hmm, I see the will during the negotiations, even though these are very, very tough things that we talk about. Probably who to cut and let's starve. Where are, we, where are we going to areas we've never, ever dreamt of going and trying to solve, said Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, girly man who can't figure out how to use his own state currency. So you'll be very surprised when the whole thing is done. We're still not there yet. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done, but we are moving slowly forward with this process. If there is no deal by Friday, the state government workers will take their first furlough day, reports the San Diego Union Tribune. Cutting back on services for the people, that's the way to solve problems. Schwarzenegger has ordered state employees to take two days off a month without pay through June 210 to save about $1.4 billion. Wow, three quarters of a war plane. We're really hoping we can work out a compromise that helps the governor achieve the savings he wants while minimizing the disruption to state services and to the lives of the employees who provide the services, said Jim Zamora, spokesman for the Service Employees International Union Local 1000, which represents the state's largest employee union with 90,000 workers. And you got 90,000 morons who don't know how the Argentine workers got paid. <laughs> In Argentina, they all got paid and things worked fine. In California, 90,000 not so bright are going to sit there and starve. Lose two days' pay a month anyway. Some 46 states face budget shortfalls. 46 Governor Gurley men so far. Forcing them to slash funding for many services, reported CNN. But California, the largest state in the union by population, faces a deficit that totals more than 35% of its general fund. So, Gurley man Arnold Schwarzenegger doesn't know how to solve his no money problems. While the macho men governors of Argentina, six provinces, all created their own provincial bond currency and paid all their employees that way, settled all their problems. So please, will any of the macho men governors give girly man Governor Arnold a call and explain how you solved your problems? Maybe he'll catch on. Maybe he isn't a girly man governor after all. We'll see. Mar Arnold, you got me macho? Hey, join the Argentine governors. Show some balls.